Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aitken and on this show each week we take a look at some upcoming races in Hong Kong and we try to isolate an element of the race we might look back on later as having been vital to finding the winner. Well, Sunday, one of the big days in Hong Kong racing, FWD Champions Day, three group ones, and there is a lot of information and interviews and everything you need to uh, look at those races all around the Hong Kong Jockey Club website. I'm going to have a look at the uh, support races, and I might add that uh, the support races this Sunday include quite a few horses who we might see back in a starring role on this day in 12 months' time. But uh, the first race I'm going to take a look at is race two. And our winning factor here, the conversion rate. And amongst the runners of interest in this race are a uh, last start winner in quite spectacular fashion, Bella Baby. Along with the runner up that day packing award with Zach Purton going on the David Hayes trained three year old. And two others also runner up at their last start. David Hall trained Victory Scholars and Douglas White trained party genius. And despite the crazily eye-catching win uh, by Bella Baby last start, uh, I've seen a bit of him over a couple of seasons and I query whether he would be able to do, uh, do that again. So I'm gonna focus more on the three horses I mentioned who've run second at their latest run. And I also thought this was an opportunity to detour into a look at why we take so much notice of a last start performance. And some people might say uh, even too much notice is taken of last start performances, but I've got a graph here that disagrees. Now, if you look at this uh, graph, this is uh, horses' uh, performances and last starts since 2014 in Hong Kong. And along the bottom axis, you see where horses finished at their last run from 1st through to 14th and on the left axis you have the next start win percentage of each group and for every position further back last start the win percentage drops for each until we get to the last start 14th and it inches up slightly. And that might just be because quite a few horses who run last uh, do so because uh, something serious has gone wrong in running or they've uh, suffered a problem. Uh, but it's a beautiful graph, a very smooth graph, and that's why we pay so much attention to where horses finished last time. Well, we're going to take a look at uh, these three runners up. And the first video that uh, I'm going to show you, this is from race 517. And this is Packing Award running second to Bella Baby. Now, Packing Award, he's in blue and white hoops with a yellow cap. He jumps okay in mid-pack and then gets with the leaders for the first half of the race. While Bella Baby, well, he's pretty easy to see. He's out the back, purple with orange sleeves, and he's uh, last to the home turn quite uh, conspicuously. Back to packing award. Now, uh, between the 600 and the 300 metres here, he goes from being one of the leaders to drifting right back through the field. And by the time they turn into the straight, he's back with Bella Baby, just in front of Bella Baby, in fact. Bella Baby then gets held up uh, in the traffic a couple of times before charging home to win. But Packing Award also does a good job, uh, looking very green and inexperienced as he gets home into second placing. Now, two weeks later, we saw the debut of a different uh, David Hayes youngster, Trader, who is also on Saturday, uh, Sunday's uh, meeting in race three. Uh, but we're going to look at the horse who ran second to him, and that's Party Genius. And uh, Party Genius, well, he's in gate 10, predominantly red and white colours, and uh, comes out a little bit slowly and finds himself right out the back. But as you see on the heat map here, very strong pressure up front. Uh, the leader had uh, every reason to weaken, but he doesn't. He keeps going like a pretty good horse. Everyone else up there weakens though, they all get tired and Party Genius weaves through the field to get into second place. Then just a week later we saw another fast run race and another debut and this is Victory Scholars in race 578. Uh, also he's in red colours and from the outside draw he goes back in the field early and gets the benefit of that strong mid-race tempo as does the ultimate winner Gluck Racer who's just in front of him. And they make their runs together down the middle of the track as the leaders come back to them in the home straight with the slightly more experienced Gluck Racer 
getting there and uh, getting the job done just ahead of Victory Scholars. So three nice efforts as runners up. How do we separate them? Well, one way could be the map. We take a look at the map for Sunday's race and Party Genius once again has a disadvantage of a wider draw while the other two, Packing Award and Victory Scholars, look to have drawn well in a race that looks to have a worthwhile tempo. So that's one way we can split them up and you can see there Party Genius looks the one of the three disadvantaged by the map. Another way that we can uh, work out who we prefer out of the three is to look at their conversion rates. All three have run second last start and the conversion rate is a factor that I touch on now and again on this show where we look at the statistics for trainers with horses who've run second, third and fourth at their latest start. In other words, they haven't won but they've certainly shown enough to say that they are ready to win and different trainers have better records uh, with these horses than others. So we'll take a look at the conversion rates for this season and here's the top 10 headed by Danny Shum. An interesting development for those suggesting Danny Shum uh, could even snatch the trainer's title this year because Ricky Yu's surprise win last season was built on a terrific performance with his conversion rate. But of interest to us for this race on Sunday, David Hall. He sits high on the list and well clear of uh, David Hayes and Douglas White who don't make the top 10 of this list. So the tip in race two, Victory Scholars. His winning factor, the conversion rate. As we see on the table there, uh, this horse who's ready to win has a trainer who's been very good this season at turning last start seconds into winners, and I think he can do it again. Second race I want to take a look at is race four, and our winning factor here, the last start winner up in class. And I think three runners stand out amongst them here. Uh, All for St Paul's, who's looking for his third successive win. Uh, Maldives, a last start winner in class four. And New Future, who was a good winner in class four in January and hasn't had a lot of luck since from wide barriers. And mostly for reasons around the map, which we'll get to later, I think it's really about Maldives and New Future. So we're gonna take a look at what they've been doing. And this is race 561, this is Maldives when he won for Blake Shin three weeks ago. He's in grey and blue colours from an inside draw and there's good pace as you see on the heat map right from the start here. So Shin is in no hurry with Maldives, settles him back in the field near the inside and then mid-race a runner goes around the leaders and the tempo shoots right up and the front runners start to take each other apart. Turning into the straight, Shin rails up, he's got plenty of horse, just waits for the right opening at the 250 and then goes clear with Maldives uh, producing what has become his regular party trick of uh, running out in the last 75 metres but on this occasion he holds on to the win. Now New Future doesn't bring a last start win here um, but was uh, quite impressive winning in class four in January before three starts where he's been hampered by wide draws and we're going to look at the latest of those and uh, this is uh, race 522 it's derby day and in brown and white colours new future is a conspicuous last soon after the start uh, going back in the field from a wide draw rather than covering ground and his last three efforts have basically all looked like this uh, the pace is sound mid-race but not punishing so the winner Beluga is able to get home from midfield and get over the top of them. But you see New Future uh, finishes just as well getting into seventh place after giving away a much bigger start than the winner. And he also gets an extra 200 metres on Sunday. The better uh, barrier draw this time for New Future uh, should see him uh, closer in the run. And we'll have a look at the map because uh, the race sets up well for both of these horses. Now we have only two leaders, Beauty Day and All for St Paul's, but they are both leaders who are prepared to scrap a little to keep the front. So All for St Paul's will have some opposition up front, it doesn't rule him out, but he would uh, definitely prefer to be there on his own dictating. The pace doesn't look brutal, but it should be enough to let run-ons into the finish, and I think that will advantage both New Future and also Maldives, who shouldn't be quite so far back this time. So the tip in race four, Maldives. His winning factor, the last start winner up in grade. Now, 
there isn't a great deal between these horses, but I've often highlighted how strong the strike rate is for last start winners going up in class. Maldives is the only one of these two who fits that bill, so he gets the nod. Well, that's it from the winning factor for this week. Enjoy Champions Day. We'll see you next time.